good cloud vipers you already know what it is today we are here with another tutorial and this today's tutorial is going to be on the phone you feel me we're going to make ski master slump guide the poster that y'all have seen me make i'm gonna show you step by step because you come on now we know what these tutorials some of these niggas don't like to you know go step by step they just show you what they did not how they did it so i'm gonna show y'all how i did it so that y'all could replicate it forever you know flyers and things of that nature you can just do it on your phone you feel me all right let's get right to it all right so there are two apps you're going to need to be able to complete this tutorial both are free of course there are going to be you know paid options inside of them but you should be able to do this without any problem all right so first we're going to go to the app store and you're going to search up bay zart boom it's going to be this right here this i highly recommend this app this is better than the photoshop app on this on on, on bro I, i've had the photoshop app this is better hands down way better than the photoshop app now i still use the photoshop app because i have photoshop on my uh, desktop so what i do is edit in um base art throw it into photoshop do some um layering editing on that and then throw it into um media encoder and do whatever else i want to do and touch it up on the desktop photoshop app now when it comes to photo editing the best ones are photoshop on desktop but i say for the phone definitely get base art now then the second one you're going to want to get is called prequel boom right here this one you're definitely going to have to um you know it's free but they they have payments on this as well um what i did was just you know i just grabbed a three three day subscription you know real, real free you know so so y'all just sign up for the three day free cancel it you feel me Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you just, just do that, you feel me? If y'all want to follow through. All right, let's get it. So now we open up Bazaar. You're going to see projects first and folders. You're most likely going to be on this create. So just go to projects and then add start from scratch. So usually you can use the portrait um, canvas. It's really good. It scales with a lot of things on like, you know, if you're just trying to transfer it over. So I'll go to, I usually go to custom size. I, I like a bigger canvas because I, I, you know, I make posters and things of that nature. So I usually go with 3600 by 4800. You know, you get you a large canvas to work with. You feel me? And I just want to, you know, double check if that was the right dimensions. Yeah, 3600 by 4800. All right, boom, there we go. Part one already complete. Now, let me preface this by saying, again, you're going to maybe want the um, the paid version for this only because right here, you're going to see if I add a photo, you type in ski mask. For instance, if I take this photo right here, there's a magic tool. Man, this thing works wonderfully. Oh, holy crap, this thing works really great. Like, y'all don't even know. Like, so if you, you just click magic, watch the magic happen, man. Oh, that man alone. And then, you know, you can just add backgrounds and things of that nature. But it just makes life a lot easier. Now, of course, you don't need the paid version because what I used to do before I got the paid version was you know i would take this and and then i would just like erase around them you feel me you know you can zoom in by pinching you know wipe away all the white stuff boom so that's why i say get the paid version but all right let's move on with this tutorial you feel me all right so the first thing i did was look up ski master slum guide as you've seen before this thing this uh bazaar is connected to bing so you can look up a lot of free uh free stock images so if you just scroll down the one I, you usually just find it all right the one i used was this one right here boom easy to find 
after that i magic tooled it once again you can just erase the, the borders outside of him zooming in and zooming out things of that nature it'll just be a longer process boom now you want to shape them up right there the next thing i did was type in ski master slump god Now, in the quick edit that you had seen, I had a different font. Now, if you go to the fonts here, you're not going to find the the fonts that I use for Ski Mask, which was a special one. So, if you go over here to Jason Personal Use, I type in Ski Mask. You'll see I have this font with the uh, people with the masks and, you know, the horror people in there. What, the best thing about Art is that you can add stuff to it. So, like, with the fonts, you're not just limited to the fonts that they give you on preset. You feel me? They, and they give you a lot, and they're really good. But you, you can just add your own fonts. So, usually what I do is um, I usually just go out of here and search up free fonts. You'll find what you're looking for. I, I was just looking for it. All right, so this one, I'll go ahead and um, put the link in the description to the font I use. It's called Jason on uh, the font.com. So, I, you know, you just go online, look up fonts. You'll head over here and, you know, I have a tutorial on how to add fonts to base art and things of that nature. All right, so we just search up. We just type in Ski Mask. And then for the second font, I did the Swamp God. You know, you just look up whichever one. I used a, a classic one for sure. Boom. All right, so now the next thing is to get Ski Mask with the ski mask. And what I chose was the hollow mask. So you, you go to the web and search up uh, bleach hollow mask. You'll find a whole bunch of templates like these. You know, just um, find one that looks like it'll fit. All right, so we're just gonna go with this one for now. All right, so you're going to magic tool it up, or, you know, if you're erasing, erase it. You know what I'm saying? After that, we're going to scroll over to transform, flip it, and make it match his head a bit. You know, just get, just get it the right, you know, make it look like it's there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is manually Ma manually erase the eye. All right, now that we have the eye erased, we're just gonna match it up a little bit better now. Now that we have free reign to do so. So I would say make it a little bit here. You know, just fix it up how you want to. Boom. And then what I'm going to do is erase the parts where it cuts off with the hoodie he's wearing. Boom. So now it looks like he has a mask on, but obviously there's still some touching up to do. Now this is where we get to the prequel part. So now we're going to go to layers, click the three dots at the top, select layers. We're going to select the ski mask layer and the hollow mask layer. Now we're going to merge those layers. 
Now click, now that is merged, click on the Slum God uh, layer and then click save. The best thing about um, Bazaar is that you could save individual layers by themselves. So now if I head over to my photos, you'll see I have the layer with him and it's a PNG. So it's just him, no background, things of that nature. All right. So now is where we go to prequel. All right, so so now you're going to want to go to prequel. Hit no thanks. Tap add photo, and you're going to add the ski mask photo. Now that we have it in here, now one thing you're going to notice is that you know it just doesn't look like the same style. You know you have the the real photo and then the hollow mask, which is like anime style. This is where we head into effects. Click on AI, and then you'll want to choose tuning. Now this is where it's going to process, and you'll see that we have the animated happening. So now the animation happening. So now what you'll want to do is just test out some different ones, see which one looks the best. All right, so it was Cartoon Plus that looked the best. Boom. Now we have it in that same style. We're going to add a bit of a filter, just as, and some adjustments. So let's go ahead and bring that light down a bit. You know, just touching up on lighting and things of that nature to make it look a little better. We want it to be a dark setting. And let's hit up that contrast and push it up a bit. Boom. Now that's exactly what we want. Now we press next, save the photo, and we hop back into uh, Base Art. So now what you want to do is go to layers, hide the ski mask and uh, the original ski mask layer, and then replace it with the new one. Now then you want to make the background the same color as this. And boom, we're basically already like 90% done. And all we did was, you know, cut him out, put the mask on him, threw him in the AI and boom, ski mask to some guy, right there, right? So now usually I like to add a little sauce to it. So what I'll do is go ahead and save this and it's the same process. We go back into prequel. You can discard this now. And boom. Click on Ski Mask the Slum God. Head into filters and find a filter that you like. So I used Trance in the original one, which made it a lot darker and things of that nature. So let's see. I want to take down the noise a bit first. Take down the intensity. Take down the leaks, move it around a bit. Put that color back in there. You know, just sauce it up a bit. So that's basically like the pretext to it. And we could also change the color to Let's make it a little red to match the... the mask. Boom. Add a little bit more adjustments.
Now, as you can see here, I went to the Halloween and trust me, man, there's a lot. And you can just find your own style for how you would like to customize it. And just see, 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 you know, just try things. That's the main thing about art is just trying things. You throw things in there, boom. You know, what the heck you gonna make, my nigga? So it's, a, it's a, you just do that, you feel me? That's what I do, personally. I just throw things in there, see how they're going to look. Some things look fire, some things do not. You know which ones do, and you know which ones do not. You know what I'm saying? Don't be coming out here making some trash. Let's see if we can fix this one up a bit. Okay. Let's take it off the eyes because we actually want to focus on that a bit. We got a bit of a texture right there. The text, we'll take that off. If we wanted to add text, we would do it ourselves in um, in Bazaar. We would just save this. And if you wanted to add any other like things of that nature, I would recommend doing that in Bazaar. And remember, you can also stack effects as well. But for now, we're just going to stick with the original that I did. So going back to that, I just really wanted to show you how my process would be on the normal. I would just go clicking things, you know, and then take it back into, into um, I would take it back into Bayes Art and throw some overlays over it, you know. Change that hue back to that red. I say I'm stuck in the middle of the situation. I ain't never been no bottom feeder. If I want to get with shorty bad, then I'm going to greet her. Take that intensity down. I told her, baby, I'm so sorry for lying and cheating. The next time I say I love you, I'm going to meet it. It's not like God. Now, obviously, this looks fire, too. But I'm on, I want people to be able to see a little bit of the hoodie he has on it. So for now, we'll just leave it at this. And then boom. Bring it back here. And we have our Ski Master Slum God poster. Now the things about this is that this is unfinished. What I would usually do is take this, push it into a uh, Photoshop, and then filter it up a bit, you know, just change lighting. Make sure things look good on the bigger screen rather than just my phone. I always proof um, proof edit these basically, so you know it's not going to be perfect when it when it comes to the magic editing where, where we're cutting out um, ski mask or any other object for that instance. So that's why we bring it to a bring it to a bigger screen, and then we'll just you know use use like the healing brush on the, um, on Photoshop. If you know about that, we'll just do that. But if you want simple flyers, I would say simple posters that you want to make yourself, boom, here you go. You know what I'm saying? Ski Master Slum God right here on your phone. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot more you can do with this. I'm going to be making more. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments. We're going to be doing a lot more tutorials and things of that nature. Uh, if you want to see anybody else I make, you know, Mo Dirt, Lil Baby. Anybody! anybody man all right man this this is nello you know you know what it is check out the website for all the posters that i make and you know this is ai don't be scared of ai use it to your advantage you know what i'm saying a lot of artists think it's gonna you know take their job it's, that's not gonna happen man it's, it, it's just not the human the human intellect is it, it goes way beyond just intellect itself, you know? It, there's soul to it, and that's something that machines can't, you know, replicate. So put your soul into these. You know what it is, man? Cloud Vibers, vibe out. Tsunami type shit. Remember that? It's like, now nah, let's get into it. Look, uh, for true a living. Never mask my true intentions. I can show you how to be yourself. If not, who you envision for the world. Let's invent it.